Welcome back. Peak summer in Chennai is bad enough. But throw in power cuts and that too in the middle of the night and the situation becomes unbearable. So what happened to the Tamil Nadu government's promise to the people of Chennai that the city would be spared of power cuts unlike the rest of the state? That's a question being posed by many in Chennai when our reporter Zoya Thomas visited many residential colonies. A good night's sleep seems a luxury for these residents of Madipakam. For far too long, they have been sweating it out in peak summer with chronic power cuts or fluctuations. Especially the power cut takes place during nights. That keeps you out of sleep, out of your uh, mood and the next day morning you are not able to do anything properly. These are not isolated cases. Across Chennai, pretty much the same complaints. This is despite the Chief Minister's promise of 24-7 power supply to the city. The residents have complained several times to the authorities, but there has been absolutely no respite for them. Yeah, I've been uh, calling the EB office for the past one week regarding the low voltage, but there's no response from them. But I've given a complaint to the emergency call service also, but still now they have not taken any action. Everywhere it, uh, in our lane, it has, this is a problem we are facing. Suppose we get up in the morning to put motor or something, within five minutes it's getting cut and our AC, fridge, everything is getting spoiled due to the voltage problem. Law Minister Durai Murgan informed the State Assembly recently that the current peak demand stands at 11,000 megawatts, while the peak availability continues to be just 8,000 megawatts. The number of consumers, too, has jumped over the years. Increased consumption, lack of power generation and maintenance hassles are some of the excuses that the Electricity Board has been citing. But ultimately, it's the consumers who have to bear the brunt. Zoya Thomas for NDTV Hindu. All right, we can't wait any longer for, uh, for this discussion. Uh, in fact, uh, we are joined by Mr. S.D. Chari, one of the re effective residents of Chennai from Madipakam, in fact. Yeah, I am from Madipakam. Who has had many sleepless nights because of the power failure uh, in his locality. Right. Mr. Murugan, yeah. the Managing Director of Transmission Corporation from the Tamil Nadu Electricity Board, is still on the way, as I said earlier, traffic snarls across uh, Chennai. He joins us on the phone line. Thank you, Mr. Murugan, for uh, joining us on the phone line. And we also have our first caller, Charles, uh, from Mogapair. Charles, uh, welcome to the show and go ahead and ask your question, please. Yeah, sir, today actually from morning 9 o'clock 9, 9 onwards till uh, 5 o'clock there was a power cut in Mogapair, but it was not officially announced. So we don't know what happened and uh, we are not able to, uh, what is it? How often, how often does this happen, Charles? Uh, today it happened, for sometimes uh, it happens for half an hour or one hour, it was not also announced. So All right. we don't know what is the issue. All right, let's ask Mr. Morgan. Mr. Morgan, Charles, they're wanting to know why this was an unscheduled, uh, in fact, power cut. Uh, also, a lot of residents, uh, a lot of viewers have been calling us, asking us whether these power shutdowns, which have increased now in summer, whether this is a backdoor method of actually doing a power cut, saying there are no power cuts, but actually doing power shutdown. Mr. Morgan? All right, I think we've lost the line with the Ms. Murugan. I think this, uh, this is really jinx, but we'll go to you, Mr. Uh, Chari. What has your experience been? For how long has this been happening? I can see you've got red eyes as yeah, you come yeah. to the studio here. <laughs> we are facing this problem, at least if not for two months, last one month, it is miserable, especially during nights. It goes, it comes, it goes, it comes, it goes and goes, never comes. That is the problem we are facing, especially during night. During daytime, at least you can be prepared. You can keep yourself engaged outside. And uh, the children, old people, they get disturbed. And even the youngsters who get disturbed during night, they won't be able to <coughs> get prepared for the next day morning. So the power cut, especially during the night, it's a nightmare, which is not absolutely expected out of the promises made by the government that we are suffi uh, sufficiently equipped for the supply to be given to the public. But Chennai is much luckier because others, other parts of the state, uh, admittedly, they have a two-hour park. It was three hours earlier, they've reduced that to two hours now, but I'm sure in many places like Coimbatore, we are told it's much longer than that. 
uh, we've got okay mr we've got mr murugan back on uh, is elusive as ever mr murugan thank you for coming back to us we had charles a short while ago from mogapair talking about power shutdowns in mogapair saying that today from 9 to 5 it was not notified in the papers no announcement but power was shut down so are we actually witnessing a trend of backdoor power cuts under the garb of power shutdown sir no sir no it is not true yes sir uh, because if it is a it is an emergency you would have taken the steps to rectify the fault okay so how many areas in chennai on an average have this power shutdown sir no power shutdown because in chennai we are having cabling system no i'm talking about for maintenance work under the garb of maintenance work how how much maintenance work is being done in summer sir need best only now based based on the need based need based only we are doing the maintenance work okay how would you respond is that satisfy you mr chari or? they call it a power shutdown they announce it one day in advance but now well, mr charles from mogapai says he was it was not even announced well we are prepared for that if it is announced to us a day before and if it is not told to you and you will have to get up every 5 minutes every 10 minutes during night it is really a nightmare and no one can tolerate it all right this has to be dealt with and the person responsible for it should answer our queries all right we have judy from little mount here yes go ahead and ask your question ma'am uh, good evening sanjay good evening. first of all i want to thank ndtv hindu for the wonderful work you are doing and thank we you. have very uh, very often we have park cuts in our place here today today we had a park cut from 10 o'clock to it came back only at 1 o'clock in the afternoon so we are finding it very difficult and we are senior citizens also all right mr murugan there are uh, the uh, viewers ardent viewers of ndtv hindu may not be able to see ndtv hindu as often as i can because of the past cuts uh, <laughs> little mount sir apparently today for for about from 10 to 1 on uh, the afternoon there's been no power ah it may be a cable fault hello okay. yes When cable fault attending to a cable fault uh, through the, there is some consumers will affect after attending to uh, there are there is three three hours only Because we we have to find out the fault, locate the fault, and attend the fault. So you are saying three hours only because you are probably sitting in your air-conditioned office where <laughs> you have uninterrupted power supply. But these are residents, senior citizens who suffer for those three hours. Sir, the food gets spoiled in the refrigerator. Senior citizens sometimes, you know, really. I mean, you are also senior exactly. citizen, Mr. Chari. Yeah. How often will these? Uh, uh, you are saying only three hours, sir. But uh, easier said than done. Hey, if it is a overhead line, we can rectify it in uh, half an hour. 22 okay. to 30 minutes okay but uh, since it is a underground cable there is that taken is more okay also i think uh, yes i must make this point here about uh, uh, departments there is no coordination i mean the telephones department or the corporation or the metro water authorities they dig this dial before you dig uh, uh, principle is not followed at all so of course what do you do when this cable fault we've got jayshree from abirampuram jayshree uh, go ahead with your question please yeah hello yes jayshree Hello, this is Jay Shree. Yes, please. Uh, yeah, my question is: There's a voltage drop uh, in uh, Zafar Khan Pet, and our office is suffering a lot uh, with the voltage drop because we are having a software company. So it's like very difficult for us to, you know, uh, really work. If there's a voltage drop, then UPS everything goes down. So we have always called the electricity board and told them to please rectify. But there's nothing, you know. There's no solution actually, and we are suffering a lot because of this. All right, Mr. Murugan, low voltage in Jaffa Khan, Jaffa Khan Pet. She says a uh, uh, lot of. In fact, they're not able to work there at the office. Uh, any reason for that, sir? Yes, sir. Sir, low voltage means if this it is for the consumer or to all areas. I don't know. If it is for the consumer, they will, they also to check their point. You are saying it could be internal wiring, is it? Yeah, yeah, internal wiring also. Yes, yes. And in the in, in any in the inside, if it is any loose connection, then so low voltage will low voltage will be there. 